I finally got these two. I had to take out Sandberg and Rollins. I'm not a huge fan of change, so we'll see what ends up happening uh, in the next couple of videos. My next video will be the Felix Hernandez debut, so stay tuned for that. And uh, Carlos Correa is a cheater, so. Taking a look at the lineups here, we're playing the Phoenix Scorpions. He's got Spencer Howard on the mound at Nick Madrigal, who kills me, and the rest of the people who will probably destroy me. He's got a pretty good record, two games above 500, but nothing we can't deal with. So, first pitch, or second pitch of the game, Shane Victorino lines one into the gap, a perfect, perfect double, and we're in business to start things off, just what we need. Victorino needs those doubles to prestige, couple batters later Reggie Jackson it's going it is gone my opponent dives right there that's how you can tell it's gonna be gone he has been dominating Reggie probably my favorite player on the team and we have a three nothing lead a good start to this one very good start to this one Corey Kluber would take the mound for us in this one one two three inning look at Todd Helton with the jump right there in the snag until Ryan Howard comes out he's probably my first baseman not much happening in the top half of the second for me, so we head to the bottom half. Strike out there. Tag out by Santana. We head to the third. Carlos Correa at the plate. He gets his first hit for us here on the curveball. Perfect, perfect. So we got a runner on in the third. Todd Helton up. He would fly out to end the inning. Unfortunate, especially since we had a runner on base. We need as much runs as we can get, especially in this stadium, because this stadium is torture. Looking for nine up, nine down. We get it on another nice play by Todd Helton. Low throw. Good job by Kluber to dig that one out. And Howard is out. <sighs> Need to catch my breath here a second. Next inning, Alec Bohm lines one back up the middle. That gives us runner on first and second with the pitcher spot up with two outs. But Corey Kluber comes up clutch. Alec Bohm would score, and we have a four to nothing lead. Kluber's actually decent at batting, so is Newhauser. Anyways, bottom of the fourth now. This is where things start to go south. Sin Su Chu hits a two-run shot off of me. Still have a two-run lead. Not good, though. A couple batters later, Miguel Cabrera tried to sneak the high sinker by him. He wasn't buying it. Sends this one high and deep. No way we're robbing that, especially with Reggie. 4-3 game now. Not good. Not good. Need to get some runs back here. D.D. Gregorius in his debut. Dude, D.D. is amazing. I need to use him more. Triples off the wall. He did get the glitch, so you call it, call it what you want, but that's a triple to me. And uh, we got a runner on third. Carlos Correa up next. He would knock him in on the slider right there. His first baseman almost made narrow. I believe that's Paul Molitor. Tags out Correa, but we still have a two-run lead. Very good. That is until Joe Torre doubles. How does he hit that? Reggie's running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Can't feel the ball. He can hit, but he can't feel the ball. Then Nick Madrigal here. I was getting tired of playing with Kluber, so I brought in Howard. Uh, Kluber was struggling. He was hitting everything that I was throwing. Single there, knocked up the score then. One, two, count. Could have got out of the inning. Can't do that to run score on the Hanley double, and we're down for the first time in this game. Not good. Not good. But we need to try to rally back here in the sixth. Two runners on. He makes a miraculous catch down by his shoes. Not good. And then Joe Torre, what I was expecting earlier, does that. Down by two now. And this is where the depression starts to hit. Because you're not battling back when he has all these good pitchers. Seventh inning. Mickey again, his second home run of the game. This stadium is torture. It's torture. Carlos Santana would add one back there. That's that's pretty nice. That's a good home run. So it's 6-9. Can we, can we come back? Can we come back in this game? No, we cannot. So, the player of the month, D.B. Gregorius and Carlos Santana, or Carlos Correa, debuts are spoiled. That's all right, though, because, uh, you know, they're mostly going to be bench players. Um, I could very well see 
Didi playing third, Correa playing short. Um, if I get uncomfortable with anyone I'm using, uh, you will have to see in the next one, in the Felix Hernandez one, um, if they do in fact play or make a difference. I can tell you right now that you'll just have to wait to find out. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. Peace on the street, son. Sorry this video was more um, on the depressing side. Uh, when I lose, I don't have as much fun editing them. Um, so yeah, bye.